So it looks like 2022 is going to be one hell of a year. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Liam, one half of TheploymentZone.tv and DZTV is a website you can go do if you want to catch even more pre-recorded 40k content. I say pre-recorded specifically because we have sort of typically over the last four or five months been doing live streams on the channel. But we did originally do pre-recorded on this YouTube channel. It's just that life got crazy. Life got very crazy. However, over the course of the last five months, we've worked super hard. We've gained loads of new members on the channel. We've gained loads of new subscribers to deploymentzone.tv. And, and at the end of 2021, we were able to announce that we were going to be going full-time running the channel, which is incredible. It's a massive thank you to all of you, um, all of you watchers, all of you subscribers, all of you commenters, all of you members as to why we can do this. But it means I can go back to doing pre-recorded content, which is kind of how the channel started. We're kind of back to basics, back to the... Um, I guess the the birth of the channel with pre-recorded content and I thought this would be a cool video to make because 2022 has just kicked off it's quite literally the first of January today obviously if you're watching this on Sunday it's not but at the moment it's the first of January and I want to talk to you about the plans for the channel over the course of the next 12 months and I recorded this video and then Games Workshop went whoa 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 before you start editing that we're going to drop a little article I'm going to drop a little teaser and I'll put a link to that teaser in the video description below so you guys can check out the community article. But they put a little video teaser on there showing off new models. It says on the video teaser, 2022, loads and loads of models. And there's some what I think are obvious hints and teasers in there. So that's super exciting. Um, obviously, the channel I'm hoping is going to grow um, exponentially in 2022. Now I can do, uh, do this full time and, and commit loads of time and effort to it. So what should we expect? Well, if we go to the Gamesworks community article first... And we look at their leaked video, chaos night looking things. I'm not sure whether big or small, but chaos night looking things. Very Aldari looking things, which is super cool. Some of which look very Drakari based. Um, and there was what looked like the hand of the avatar in there as well. A plastic avatar of Kane could be on the horizon for 2022. That's incredible. Uh, there was also something Tyranid in it. God knows what that is. I don't think we've had any leaks about something Tyranid so far from anyone. So it looks like we're going to get a, a whole raft of new models in 2022. And the pace of the Games Workshop Forge, the, the pace in which they're kicking out models, is not going to slow in the new year, which is supremely positive because there are a number of model ranges that do need updating. Obviously, those of you who are Craftworld Eldar fans will be screaming for plastic aspect warriors and a new avatar of Kane. Looks like you're going to get that avatar at least. But it looks like we're going to get a whole raft of new models um, in the new year. What I'm hoping is we do see things like a new World Eaters coat, please. Please, can we see a new World Eaters coat? I would love to see that in the new year with a, a supported model range. I'd love to see them do Emperor's Children at the same time, although I can't actually see them do it at the same time. I'd like to see them do it at the same time just because I want to see those two codexes. So it looks like 2022 is going to be an incredibly exciting new year of releases for Games Workshop. My only real, real hesitation is I'm hoping they don't drip feed models out with rules in different supplements and books and codexes and white dwarfs and more supplements and so to make use of all of these new models units rules you have to have 14 books again i'm hoping we don't go down that route history's not really on my side for that one though i suspect that we probably will see some models will be released in a f supplement with some extra rules and then you have to wait till the codex comes out and then you get uh, I think it's inevitable. I think we just have to accept it, but I'm kind of okay with it as long as we get loads and loads of new updated model ranges. And, and we'll probably get another 25 different Space Marine kits because we definitely need more Space Marine kits. Having jested about Space Marines, one of the things I'm super excited about with the channel is the ability to commit time to painting and hobbying and modeling now. I did a ton of building in 21 because it's really quick. You can just pick it up and do it. Um, in a couple of hours after, well, I say a couple of hours, I didn't really have a couple of hours, in an hour after work, before dinner, etc. Now I can actually dedicate time to painting. And so I'm super excited to start getting some paint on some of these armies that I was putting together in 2021. And as a sort of New Year's resolution, I don't like calling it a New Year's resolution, but as a sort of New Year's resolution, I intend to get at least two 2,000 point armies painted tabletop ready and on the tabletop at some point in 2022 for things like battle reports and live streams etc 
I think two is reasonable. I think one would be selling myself a bit, I'd be making my life a bit easy there because I'm full time now. So I think one would be a bit of a cop out. I think three might be pushing it a bit hard considering in the last three years I've done none. So I think two's a nice sweet spot. The first army I'm going to be doing, having just recently gobbed off about Space Marines, is a Gravis Space Marine force. Um, this army has been mostly built for a very long time and I haven't really touched it with paint. However, in DeploymentZone.tv, if you're a DZTV subscriber, you'll be aware of this. If you're not a DZTV subscriber, you can hit the link below. You get a seven-day free trial. You can come and support Winters 9. If you choose to stick around, it's £6 a month. You get loads and loads of content. In DeploymentZone.tv, they've just started Hobby Hobbypocalypse Season 2. And if you don't know what Hobby Hobbypocalypse is, I'll explain it to you very, very briefly right now. Over 150 people so far in DZTV, in the Discord server, have pledged to be a part of Hobby Hobbypocalypse. And in Hobby Hobbypocalypse, what you do is you commit to painting 250 points of an army every month for six months. So within the six months, you have a 1,500-point painted army and they will track your progress and you get a little loyalty card with stamps on it that you can share on social media and stuff like that. At the end of the six months, I believe there might be a little event being put together for those people that have partaken in the Hobby Apocalypse series so far. And I'm going to use the Hobby Apocalypse to hold me accountable for painting Space Marines. For the first six months, I'm going to get this Gravis army up and running and painted. And I'm hoping that because I'm using the Hobby Apocalypse to continue or to push my motivation, I'll actually manage to get at least 1,500 points, if not 2,000 points done by the end of that six months. So that's how and why I'm going to be pushing along with the Space Marines. I've picked the Space Marines for a couple of reasons. One, I don't have a Loyalist Space Marine force of my own, so it kind of makes sense to add that to one of the channel armies, as well as my Chaos Space Marines, my Demons, my Harlequins, my Elder. It makes sense to add some actual standard Space Marines. Two, they're typically sim more simplistic to paint, kind of clean lines and big panels it's all gravis stuff and dreadnoughts right so that should be relatively simple as well helps me get back on the horse in terms of painting um and and three i think it's probably one of the ones that's going to be the shortest time frame for model count i think it's like 30 to 40 models in the army the 2000 point army that i've written so it's not overwhelming right now it's not like trying to paint 500 kriegers or six million orcs so i think that'll be okay i also have to pick a second army and i'm torn I don't know what to go for. Necrons is a choice, but they're also silver, and I'm painting this army silver. I could do a fresh Eldar army because we've seen those Eldar releases, but I don't think I want to do that. Um, I've got Krieg that I'm building and painting up on the shelf, which I'm probably tempted by. I've got lots of plastic Krieg, so I might make them the second choice. And the Guard Codex hasn't come yet. Oh, sorry, Astra Militarum Codex hasn't come yet. So hopefully that'll be coming soon, and maybe that'll be something that's worthwhile. The other option clearly is Tyranids, or possibly even, I've got a thing about doing Admech right now, um, but I'm not sure if that makes me a popular person, building and painting Admech, so mm, not sure. Den of Imagination will be taking delivery of the Space Wolves, so the Space Wolf project is ongoing, but they're going to paint that for me and it will be a glorious, beautiful, pretty painted army, because Den of Imagination are going to do it, it means I don't murder it, so we will be getting Space Wolves on the channel at some point in the future. And Siege Studios have offered to do a Grey Knight commission for us. I just need to nail the details down with them so we can get that organised, arranged, and start that process. So if that works, if all of that happens in 2022 on the channel, you will see four new painted armies in total throughout the course of the year. Super exciting, four new projects coming. What else is coming to the channel? Well, DZ Open Days will continue. Um, we'll have the, I say DZ Open Days, the DZ Days will continue at Belper at Tabletop Events. The DZ Open Day is going to be happening next year. And so is another DZ narrative event, and I'm hoping to put a competitive tournament together as well. So that's great stuff and great news for DeploymentZone.tv. For fans of just Liam Dempsey for this channel, um, DempseyCon is still happening the first weekend of April. If you are a channel member and you're in the Discord server, then you already get access to tickets to DempseyCon. You can come and hang out with us for a day in April, the first weekend in April. Um, lots of opportunities to win prizes, throw dice, and genuinely enjoy yourself. So that's something to look forward to. I'm hoping to start ramping these out more. These informative kind of vloggy kind of videos things i used to do quite frequently so now when games workshop drop a new article as long as i'm at home or somewhere near my house it won't take long for me to flick the camera on and tell you about what that art article is telling us what that's informing us or something that's going on in the world of warhammer um so much like today and it's little release with the model ranges i'll be able to tell you guys about those things so that's super exciting I'm hoping we can continue with the live streams. I know for the next two live battle reports that we've got, the next two Wednesdays, remembering this is going live on the 1st of January, so if you're watching this on the 7th, then you've probably already missed one, we'll be featuring Winter's SEA on the battle reports. That's amazing. That's super exciting. I'm, I'm really happy Winter's is going to come down and get involved in live streams because he's chaos carnage, but he enjoys them. And I think we're going to put some of those on Winter's SEO 
on his YouTube channel as well. So that would be great. If you don't want to miss any of this stuff, if you don't want to miss out on any of these video releases or any of the streams that we do, because we do stream every single Tuesday, 21.30, we do stream every single Friday, 21.30, then you can think about becoming a channel member. Hit the link below, pick the tier, and I have recently upgraded all the tiers for the channel. So there's lots of different benefits and bonuses now, depending on the level that you choose to become a member at. Massive shout out to all of our current channel members. You're all legends and we appreciate you. As well as new armies and new models, I'd also like to learn in 2022 a new gaming system. I'm really keen to learn Age of Sigma, and I've spoken to Warsmith Chris, and I want him to teach me Age of Sigma. I've asked if we can maybe book a few days. He can come down and he can teach me AOS. A wonderful friend of mine has started painting up some Stormcast Eternals for me. So I actually have something to use. Obviously, I've got the Corn Demons as well that I can use. But I want to learn the system. And once I've learned the system, I really want to nail down a specific army that I'm going to use. Get that painted up as well and play with that. I don't want to commit to painting an AOS army in 2023, 2022, 2023 maybe, not 2022, because I've already committed to 240k armies, but I would like to get AOS up and running as well. I'm also interested in the year in learning other systems. Those systems are, will include, but aren't limited to, Bolt Action, Star Wars Legion, Blood Bowl, but I don't want to promise any content around those yet. We need to see how this settles. So you're going to get pre-recorded content back DZTV gets pre-recorded battle reports back. The live streams continue. I'm hoping to add new gaming systems. I'm hoping to add new armies. Loads of stuff. Super exciting, right? On top of all those things, I intend to continue to go to events. I want to start actually monitoring my 40k progress on the ITC circuit. I don't know if that's even remotely close to possible for a player of my ability. Probably not. But I'd like to start monitoring my progress there. I haven't got a target or a goal to become UK number one whatever because I don't think that's achievable. But I'd like to keep an eye on it. So I'd like to start going to some events. I've never gone to a super major or a, or a major for that matter. So I'd like to do one of those. I've already got my LGT ticket booked for next year. And I'm also going to the Bristol GT in April. So the other thing I want to keep doing next year is continuing to go to events to meet you wonderful people to hang out, have beer, etc. Have beer, hang out, have beer, hang out, drink beer, have fun, etc. That's what I want to be doing in 2022. So more of that, hopefully COVID notwithstanding, that's possible. We're also flying out to mini wargaming at some point in the year, supposedly, probably, possibly. Again, COVID notwithstanding, so we can do some campaign type stuff with the guys at Mini Wargaming and Play On have been in touch. We've heard you're coming to Canada, and we are. So hopefully we'll get to do some more stuff with Play On Tabletop as well. That would be super cool. And so I've got some goals. So I really would love to grow the channel and grow the community that's, that seems to be spurting up. Spurting up is probably not the right word. Sprouting up around the channel, which has been super amazing over the course of the last four or five months. So I, I've got goals. I'd like to grow channel memberships. I'd like to grow subscriber numbers. I'd like to keep developing and growing the channel. And hopefully you guys will come on that journey with me. And if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber because you're back to watching pre-recorded content on the channel, please hit that sub button. Please hit that like button. Think about becoming a member of support on these videos. And hopefully... You guys will come with me on the 2022 journey. And because I don't have a full-time job, well, I do have a full-time job. It's this and DZTV. This isn't going to be two months of content. I stop again. This is going to be keep going all the way through 2022 and 2023 and 2024. And I'm sure in four or five years, you'll be utterly, utterly sick of the sight of me. But anyway, as for 2021, the door is now closed on that year. A massive, massive, massive thank you to all of you people that supported the channel because I pushed really hard the last four or five months to get to a point where we could go full-time with content creation with 40k and you guys responded and without you I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be able to or I would be here but I wouldn't be able to be going full-time with the channel so a mammoth a monumental a huge thank you to everybody who supported me in the last four months five months and another massive thank you to everybody who's been a deploymentzone.tv subscriber or a Liam follower stroke subscriber for the course of the last three or four years because you guys are incredible and you're the, really the backbone of our community so thank you so much let me know what you think of this let me know what you're most excited for for 2022 if there's something that you're most excited for if you looked at that release from games workshop on the community article let me know which model you think you spot that you're most excited for otherwise jump in the comments below and let me know what your goal is for 2022 because i'm really interested to hear what the community is up to and what they want to do we spoke about this on the new year's eve live stream last night and loads of people had tons of super exciting stuff that they're going to be doing so make sure you let me know make sure you hit that sub button make sure you hit that like button make sure you stick around for future videos thank you very much for watching this and we'll see you in the next one. Oh.